Krebs will throw it in. It's into Ford. Jordan Ford for the win. Got it! 1.4 seconds to go. Mark Pope will call a timeout as BYU will have just enough time to maybe get off a game-winning shot. There are certain players in college basketball that can single-handedly win you a game. Jordan Ford is one of those players. At the bend of the shot clock, a couple of high bounces off the back iron, rebound battled for, volleyed around, and tipped out by Rowe to get another look here for the Titans. It's Rowe in the right corner. Double team, dangerous pass, intercepted by Scott. Now the Lions have numbers. Alipiev lobs it for Scott, throws it down! Oh my goodness, Eli Scott powers it in with the right hand. He had to reach back and wind it up to power it down. Oh my goodness, Eli Scott brings the fans to their feet, put it on the highlight reel and leave it there forever, Eli Scott. What a dunk for the Lions. Four seconds to have any chance. So they're having Chavichin go into the corner there. That's a spot up shooter. He's got to shoot it. To tie it. Oh, oh, game to triple overtime. Right. It was looking pretty desperate right here. He absolutely was. The play was designed for him though. They set two back-to-back -back screens for him off the ball for him to get open to catch it. Then he just makes a play. It goes to Gonzaga. They do a really good job of guarding without fouling, making you score over the top. Yeah, you got it. Ron Hartfield, five on the shot clock, tough three, rattles out, rebound, here comes Cody Ross, Ross for the win! Wow, who would you expect? You'd expect him to do that. They will check the monitor, they will check the monitor. Stops, pops, counted, ball game.